So, um, first of all, I just want to say my voice is a little bit croaky. And second of all, I was just sat on the toilet taking a, taking a shit and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a vlog. Never done anything like this before, but sometimes you just have those moments when you're on the toilet. And, um, you know, I thought, my my house is a, a, an absolute mess at the moment. You can't see right now, but I'm going to give you a little tour in a bit, and we we together we're going to have um we're going to explore this house and see see what's going on. And because I I wanted this to be a kind of raw, very realistic look into someone's life, and I don't know that that's ever really been done before. I mean, Jake Paul was talking about it the other day, but realistically, he doesn't... That in a normal life, he lives in a mansion. And I guess this is the, the, the kind of bare bones of a vlog. And to be fair, I don't even know if I'm that much of an interesting person to do this, but... Okay, well... Anyway, we're getting to the tour. So, here we have... Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You won't be able to see my face at this part, because I need to aim the camera. So, this is... um. My computer is just watching some reviews of this rather confusing book I'm reading at the moment. I, I was recommended it by um, the the lead singer of Swans on his Instagram page. He didn't recommend me it personally, but he, he recommended it to his following. Um, we've got all kinds of... Okay, this is my drawer, which is just... As you can see, the rooms are... There's a fucking sleeping bag on the floor. This is where the homeless guy sleeps. He, he visits me occasionally. Um, that's my friend's emergency, Dr. Pepper, from when he had a hangover the other day. He never drank it, though. So, you know, we got, um, got Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> hiding around the corner. Um, it's the bed. It's my duvet. I, I was quite cold this morning, so I was just sat in my chair. Oh, pardon. With my duvet. Um... As you can see, we've got clothes all over the floor, and another thing you can see is that my shoes have holes in. It's my second pair of sambas that have decided to um, come off at the bottom, but oh, oh, oh well. Uh, over here we have a, a small record collection. I say small. I've got it, I've got it to about 25 now. We got um, Britt Walford looking quite quite wet on the front. Um, yeah, I, I could always go through this some other day. I, they've still got the labels on. I was at Rough Trade Bristol and um, I, I ran out of the what you call, you know, the protecting sleeves. So I don't really want to unbox these ones because then they get all dusty. You know, a sneak little preview of that. Oh, oh I, I, I'll leave it on that. This beautiful boy. But you know, yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go do. Um, if this if this works, I'll take a. I'll give you a full tour of the record collection eventually because I'm going to run out of ideas very quickly. Um, anyway, it's the hallway. As you can see outside, it's uh, raining today. So, anyway, this is uh, the bathroom. It's in a bit of a mess as well. Um, I'm not going to show you the toilet, you don't want to see the- Oh, I'll go to the mirror though. What's up dudes? Um, Alright, downstairs we go. It's a bit dark down there. It's a very dark, dismal day. Very depressing. Uh, it's a picture of me on the wall from when I was a kid with a, with a large fish. Uh, my dad's a fisherman. As, as you, you know, you, you, you can kind of gather all this stuff from just walking around my house. There's a fucking sail on a bunch of rods there. Like, you know, just got your, got your stuff. Alright, anyway, this is um, the table. Um, the reason my house is in a mess is because I had a few friends around the other day and I haven't really bothered to clean it up yet. Um, and here we've got the, the sofa, the settee, and... This 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 skizo, yeah? He, he's a he's a good friendly boy. Look into his eyes. Look into those Vietnam flashback eyes. He's seen some shit. No no, we're not gonna do that. Um 
where am I going now? Oh, the most important room of the house, not the kitchen, but we will take you through the kitchen to get to this room. So as you can see, oh shit, I was, um, before, before I decided to go to the lavatory, I was, um, making myself a cup of tea. So, green tea. We only drink green tea. Um, mostly because the reason we drink green tea is because you don't have to put milk in green tea, which is, is, a, is a big bonus. You don't have to do anything to it. I can just put the tea bag in and leave it there, which basically means minimal effort, which, as you will notice, is a, is a, um, is a reoccurring theme in my lifestyle choices, is a minimal effort. That's fucking hot. That's fucking I just burnt my tongue. Oh my god. I thought, you know, I thought that because the, cause the kettle was on like ages ago, I thought it would have cooled down a bit, but I've just, I, 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 I burnt my tongue. <laughs> um, Alright, as we can see, we got, you know, we got some cereal bowls, we got some, yo, we got some mugs, we got an old, oh shit, that's crusty, man. Um, what else do we have? Uh, not, you know, the kitchen, just cooking and shit, I don't, you know, um, this is a fish. It's pretty cool. Outside, you can see that you can see the rain again. You know, quite quite a rainy day. Rainy days, you do things like this. There's a, there's a spooky skeleton in that book. You can't really see him; it's blurring when I zoom in. But you can vaguely see an outline of a spooky skeleton, and I'll show you another spooky little thing that lives in my garden. Actually, it's quite spooky indeed. Is um. This fiberglass head is quite the spooky fellow. He just lives in my garden. And also, um, what else? <laughs> yeah, this dude. You know, he just kind of chills there. He's a, he's a chill dude. He don't, he don't really, you know, he's, he, he just, he just, he just does his thing, you know. Um, this is the acoustic guitar, just lying here. I've run out of stands in that other, in the room we're going to now, which is the music room, which is the room I tend to spend the most time in, which I've actually left the amp on, which I don't know if that's going to, I'm going to turn the volume right down, because um, I don't want it interfering with the microphone on this camera. As you can see, we got some um, more records here. These are mostly throwaways, but occasionally you find a good one, like, for example, Madonna's first album, which I, I have been playing quite a bit. Uh, the, the first track on there, Lucky Star, is quite, it's quite the bop. Uh, I've lost focus. Uh, I've big time lost focus. Um, focus. Ah, there we go. Okay. This is my most beloved possession, my uh, Rickenba uh, Rickenbacker 4003 bass guitar, who's just having a nice little rest, um, and today I've got this bad boy coming, um, the Big Muff Distortion pedal, which is a pretty essential piece in any noise rock band, I guess, I mean, you know, if, if, you, want a, if you want an example of this thing being used to its full potential, eh, full potential I'd highly recommend, um, the band Dinosaur Jr. to anyone who hasn't really listened to them before. Um, here we got the the PA. You know, we got got some. You know, we got all kinds of wires in there. I'll show you what's going on. We got um, right now. It's, it's not too much of a complicated set. We got the uh, cable goes in the guitar, boom, and it goes into the Big Muff pedal. Then the Big Muff pedal goes into the PA. The PA. Then it goes into the amp, which isn't too complicated. I want to get some more pedals and make it extra complicated, but, you know, keep it simple, I guess. Uh, here we got this synth, quite an old Yamaha. Uh, why did I say it like that? I don't know. Um, and that goes into an amp down here. We, we, we use this for drums, you know, we haven't got a drummer as of yet. So... We plug it into the amp just to make it a bit more distorted and give it that extra kind of grit, which I think drums need. If you just plug in your keyboard to a drum set, you know, it sounds kind of... You know what I mean. Um, this guitar is a pile of fucking shit. 
Like it's, it doesn't even it just it's a shit guitar. This one, however, this is a beautiful, beautiful little Japanese guitar. Quite, you know, it's, it's uh, I don't know. You, you can you can have a look at it, but I guess you really got to hear it to to appreciate it. There's another mirror. Hello, that's me. Um, now I've taken you through the house. I'm kind of running out of things to do. Uh, I, I'll go. I'll go for the little details of this room. You got uh, Johnny Cash up here, looking very, you know, very um, sinister. Rest in peace, lovely man. Um, sombrero, bongo. I'm actually off to Mexico in um, in a few weeks. Got my passport arrived yesterday. I had to renew that. Took an awful long time. Um, can of dark fruits down there, left over from the party. Well, I say party. I just invited a few friends round, and they decided to drink. There we go. We are not sponsored by Magnus. Uh, we are not sponsored by dark fruits either. Personally, I despise the drink. I think it tastes like chemicals. Um, as you can see, he's, he's he's taken off the the lid, and you don't you don't want to do that. You you give yourself a nasty cut. Um, some potatoes, you know. It's the fridge. Got all kinds of magnets on it. Open up the fridge, see what we got. Got some cheese. Got some eggs. Got some butter. Uh, a vast array of sauces, which are mostly for my dad. I don't particularly like to drown my food in sauce. Some thatchers. Don't really like cider at all. I don't know if there's actually anything in this. No, there isn't. This this is an obsolete packaging for Coronas, um, which is unfortunate because I quite fancy a Corona. You know, we got we got some little things. We got some leftover soup in a uh, butter thing. Got cheeky garlic and herb. Oh, and some profiteroles actually, which I got donated. Um, you know, we've got all kinds of weird crap. We've got fucking tomato juice mixed with clams. Like, what the fuck is that? Jerk mar mar marinade. You are what you eat, as Kanye West once, once said. Once quoted. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I don't really know why I'm showing you my fridge. But this, this is... You know, when when you're doing a vlog, usually you have something prepared, and I thought it'd be interesting to do one with nothing prepared, and see what I could come up with as I went along. And it just eventually turned into a house tour, which usually house tours, you know, they'd have these very grand things to show off, and I just I just live in a house. So, I, if anything, I hope you can relate to this and. I hope, you know, I don't know whether to edit this or not as well. It might be boring unedited, but it might be perfect the way it is. Right now I don't really, I'm not really too sure because I'm just kind of making things up as I go along. But anyway, I, I, there's some art I've just spotted in my house, which I'll, I'll show you now. Um, I live in a place called Weymouth, which is actually on the Jurassic Coast. And these are some, um, these are some shells that my dad glued into a rather spectacular spiralling formation with a rather large conch in the middle. It's not really a conch, it's just a big ass shell. Um, this is a, a fish. That's another fish. It's got a little fish. We got a little fish. I can, I, uh, look at the, the fish over here. There's a fish over there. I don't think there's a single area in my house which you can stand without being watched by a fish. Um, so now we're in the house. I mean, what is there left to do? We could go outside, but we get rather wet. As you can see, it's still raining, and I don't think this. I think this precipitation shall persist. If if I want to be a, a a wordsmith, you know. Um, so, question is, what do we do? Well, what would I usually do? Most people would, um, if they were on a vlog, they would say, "Oh, let's let's fly out to Japan and and uh, um, no, that's the wrong thing to think about." No, uh, they they'd be like, "Oh, yeah, this is, I gotta do my workout routine, or I gotta go to the shop, or 
No, they don't go to the shop. What do they do? I don't know. I don't watch vlogs. What does Casey Neistat do? He rides around New York on a skateboard and then, like, kind of shit happens. And every, you know, every little moment. And no disrespect to Casey Neistat. I like what he does. But it's not realistic at all, is it? He's, he's taking it. He's, he's stepping over there and he's, he's putting a camera down in a bush and then driving past that camera. And it makes it look like he's just driving down the street. But realistically, he's taken probably about 20 minutes to set up that fucking camera. Not about 20, he's probably quite good at it. He probably does it really quick. He's probably just got he's probably just got a camera on a string which he like throws down and then drives past and then fucking reels in like a fish. You know, that would be that would be spectacular. If he could do that, I would be very impressed. But I don't think he can and that's me just my mind wandering into surrealism. But you know what? I'm glad it did. Anyway, what would I usually do? That was back to the question at hand. So, I've been in the music room quite a lot today. Actually, I, I have. Um, uh, I'll show you because I, I did show you show off my pedal, but I I just as well show show you what I've been up to with my my instruments. So I'll, I'll see what timer this is on. Uh, well, we've been recording for a whole 16 minutes, which is actually quite a lot of content when you think about it. So, here we are. Okay, um, I, I think this should have me in view. Uh, anyway, uh, today, now I'm going to fuck this up massively because I've literally only just learned it. And you're about to see that I'm not actually particularly good at bass, even though I have one that's worth hell of a lot of money. So, I'm about to get, you know, there's the people commenting at me like, you're shit at music and you, you're a fucking faggot. And you know what? That ain't wrong, you know? Uh, okay. Woo! Um, it's not particularly loud, but, you know, I didn't want to fuck up the camera microphone. Uh, okay, so... Oh, yeah, whatever, I learned, um... Because I got my big muff pedal, I got a bit excited and I learned some, um... A song by The Garden pretty cool uh, experimental kind of punk band. And I'm going to try and play it for you right now, but um, I'm going to fuck it up, like 100%. If I don't fuck it up, I will go outside. And that's, that's forfeit. I keep burping. I'm sorry, I had uh, a, a sausage roll and a steak slice for lunch from the local post office. and Rather, you know, channel. Anyway. Fucked it up. Um, what is something I can play? Well, we can play all kind. We, you know, we, we. I turn the big muff off. We can go. And... That's all I managed to get it playing. Uh, what do? Oh, we can play a bit of a. We can play the like first ten seconds of the Crimson Crim Crim song. <laughs> That took me a while to learn. Paranoid Android is probably the hardest thing I can not play. I'm not even going to try. You know what? I suck usually and I suck even more on camera. So, that's just the way it is, son. Alright, here we go. What are we doing now? Well, I don't know. Well, you do know. No, I don't. I'm making all this up. Well, you're an amateur. I know. I know an amateur. That's the point. Well, 
Well, that's that's just the way she blows. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know what I mean. It's just it's just coming out. It's just coming out. And as you can see, the further this vlog goes on, the more I will descend into madness because I am walking around my house talking to an imaginary voice that doesn't exist. What's up there? The darkness. The void. Wait, is that, is that a focus? I, how much of this fucking video is out of focus? Jesus Christ! Uh, I mean, the void. Should we go up there and see what lurks?